Hi, I'm Steven Ficchino, Engineering and Construction Manager for MortarNet. Today I'm going to show you how to install a total flash panel around a penetration that comes through the wall that also goes through the membrane. First thing I want to do is establish exactly where the inside stainless steel drip edge terminates along the wall. The next step is to go ahead and take the total flash panel, put it up on the brick ledge, so I can go ahead and determine the height, which is the top and the bottom of the penetration location on the membrane. The next mark I need is to go ahead and reference these two points, the left and the right of my penetration, from the edge of my inside drip edge corner. Now I've established my marks here and here. They will connect and I'll make a box. My mesh is in the way, so that's not a problem. I can pull back the mesh so I can cut out for the penetration and it won't be a problem. There's no compromise to the membrane at all with this action. Now that I got my cut, I'm going to go ahead and dry fit the panel. It's good and tight over at my drip edge. Nice and tight, clean, and I got a good solid fit. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pilot, drill my pilot holes so that I can complete this installation. Okay, I got all my pilot holes drilled so that I can go ahead and put my anchors in. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my seal in behind the turn bar and complete the installation by putting in the anchors. Put in a 5 16 inch nut driver. I'm ready to go ahead and install my anchors. I'm going to install my anchors from the center outward so that I don't get a bulge or a fish mouth at the edge of my lap. The last thing I have to do is put the seal on the outside of my flashing. As you remember, I already put a bead on the inside when I placed it earlier. i just run my little homemade tool around it one time. And that's all there is to it. I'm Stephen Ficchino. Thanks for watching Morena TV.